In today's video, we're comparing two mini tripods, the Ulanzi MT44 and the Ulanzi MT11 flexible tripod. Now, both of these fall under the $20 price range, which makes it extremely affordable for all those who are planning to start on some simple content creation. There are certainly some differences between the functions and the design of these two mini tripod, and in this video, we're going to break down what they are and why you should choose one over the other. One of the very common questions that is being asked between these two tripod models is are their ball heads removable? Now, unfortunately for the MT44, it is not removable. But for the her MT11, it is. You can just simply turn this up and be able to attach other things on top of these flexible uh, legs or change this out for other mini tripods. Now, but one thing to take note regarding the ball head design, if you take up close, you can see up close that this ball head design is a little bit curvier compared with the MT44, which is a bit flat. Now, I really prefer this over this as it gives you this very fine flat edge which sits your camera snugly comparing with this model. Of course, with the ability to remove the ball head, opens up to a lot of opportunities, especially for you to put this on top of other slider or other accessories which you have. The second difference is the tripod legs. Obviously, there's some design and material differences between these two. When I knock against this MT11, you can hear that it's a lot more sturdier comparing with this MT44. Now, this MT44 is made out of this high quality plastic, while this MT11 is made out of these rubbery materials, which actually helps its functions as you are able to mount this on top of railings and other areas as it's a millable, millable, malleable, flexible uh, material comparing with this MT44, which is more or less a standard tripod. Now, what I like about this MT44 is that you can actually tighten the legs right here which helps you keep it really secure comparing with this one. When we collapse this, it measures about 32cm, while this MT11 measures about 30cm, which isn't a lot. But in terms of material, this will be slightly lighter, coming at about 150 grams, while this comes in at about 250 grams. So something to think about in terms of materials and the tripod legs. Number three is design and other features. Now let's start with the tightening knob. As you can see, both of them have a slightly different design in terms of its tightening knob. When put it at the side, the one that's on the MT44 is rounder, while the one that's on the MT11 is slightly on the oval shape. Now personally, the oval one does help a lot in terms of keeping things really tight, but I prefer the one that's on the MT11 as it's really a quite a nicer feel turning a rounder knob rather than an oval shaped one. It's got nothing to do with how good or how strong the tightening is, but in terms of usability, I do prefer this one. Now there are two features which this MT11 has that the MT44 doesn't. Now the first one is this little screw mount at the side. Now this screw mount allows you to attach other accessories on top of it. Here I have is this accessory and all I have to do is just turn this in. It allows me to extend to be able to put other microphones or other accessories to be able to enhance the overall setup. Now, the second item which this thing has is the bubble leveler. Bubble leveler. Now, this is the bubble leveler. This bubble leveler might be quite useful for all those who are starting out as it helps to keep your camera level and less editing in post-production. Let's quickly open this up and see how it looks once it's seated flat. You can see that the MT44 does start with quite a high height of up to about 45cm comparing with this MT11 which actually sits as low as about 15cm. Now, if you want to take low angles, this does make a very huge difference. Let's now get down to the list of pros of these two tripods to help your decision making easier and more concise. Now, let's start with the MT44. The first advantage or pro that it has is obviously its length. It can go out about 43 inches or about 101cm. Number two is its weight. Now, it might be made of plastic but it actually keeps this thing really light. It weighs only about 105 grams or about 0.3 pounds. Number three, it's its feet. Now, its feet is really amazing with its design. As you can see, there are actually these joints, there's this locking mechanism which really keeps the tripod together, preventing it from accidentally collapsing or things hitting it. So, who will be this tripod great for? All those who are doing regular vlogs or actually talking head content, you'll be really satisfied with this tripod. It can go really high and it's really sturdy to be able to give you all those shots that you need. All those who are planning to vlog with a longer reach, this will definitely satisfy you. Now, let's move on to the MT11. Its first pro is obviously its flexibility. Its leg is really useful to help you to wrap around different objects such as tree branches or railings, preventing and freeing you the need of carrying a regular tripod. Needless to say, you can bend his feet for the regular vlogging angle. Now the second thing is his removable ball head. 
Having a removable ball head is really useful as you can adapt it to different kinds of accessories. If you don't like using this kind of feet, it's easy to always find a replacement. Number 3 is its extra screw mount on the side. Now before we go on to the screw mount, I'm sure you guys are curious what the ball head can do. Now let's put them both side by side. Starting with this MT11, we just put it here and here. And you can easily put a mobile phone on top of here. Now where's my mobile phone? Alright, here it is. So you can easily just attach your mobile phone pulling this thing up. There's also this uh, cold, cold shoe mount on the top over here which can attach a light. This MT44, it works the same. You are able to put a mobile phone here and of course the cold shoe mount on the top to put a light accessory. Comparing this both side by side, this obviously has an edge due to this extra screw mount. So who will be this MT11 tripod great for? For all those who like funky and very interesting angles to film your content from, this tripod will definitely be very useful. So which of these two do you prefer? Leave me down in the comments below. If you want the nitty gritty details of these two tripods, I've already done separate videos dedicated to them and I'll link them down in the description below. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.